lightning strike right there. Oh? Yep. No kidding. It was a, it wasn't a round circle, but you can definitely tell it. Because everything was blown right. away from the center. So we're up at my last bean field now. And right now, we did a test of Saltro up here, and right now it's running 70 bushel the acre average, but it's showing 75 right now. Well, look who decided to show up. So, remember this field? Yeah, we just got a full load. We're gonna take this over. Hopefully, what plus what Travis has on should be enough. Ooh, that's it's pretty close to eighty thousand as it is. We're gonna take this over and dump it in the truck. I had to park on the side road back there. Sometimes there's just no way, no easy way of doing it. You gotta walk. Good run. Do I look like I'm in a running mood? You're right. I'm gonna eat all your food. <laughs> Man, I should have gotten a girl that does stuff for me years ago. Ready? Yeah. Fall is in full effect. The trees are turning color. We should be filling up the cart for the last time tonight. And uh, we should be finishing this field if we can fit it all on. And then we can move to Travis's field tomorrow. So we've got, uh, last I checked, like 13 acres on this field. And the field here is running, I would say, pretty good. Um, yield monitors saying that it's yielding like 67 bushels to the acre, which is really good compared to my other field, which is no-till, and that ran 50 even. Pretty sure that was like 50 even. So um, going down to fill up right now, we've got about 9,000 pounds on the grain cart, this handy dandy put up scale that Underwood Firth provided. Um, we got that calibrated in, Andrew came and we did get that working properly. Um, so far, I think my average is gonna be pretty good. I'm thinking my average is gonna be sitting right around 60 bushels to the acre for my soybeans. Um, doing the math, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a profitable year for me. So that's, that's pretty good uh, as far as the crops go. I say that like I was worried about it being profitable. If you're not being profitable, that's not good, but um, it's turning out to be pretty decent as far as yield between these two fields goes on soybeans. Um, corn, 2,000 bushels are going to be going into the bin at Rockville to, for, to feed my calves. And um, what's left is going to be sent down to the river.
walking down the road now and uh, the semi has a full load. I went over to the double check to make sure that it was indeed fully loaded and uh, I, I can't fit anything more on that semi. So the grain cart is now fully loaded. We might try squeezing a little bit more on there. We're trying to get everything on the carts or the semi so that Travis can go start harvesting his field right away tomorrow rather than waiting for me to have to get back so that we can dump off what's left on the combine. But uh, yeah, my crops I think turned out pretty well. Um, once the numbers are all in, we'll have to see, but uh, I was worried that I would be left with what I had about 30 minutes ago and things look like they worked out all right. Um, this farm here averaged I would have to say probably 67, 70, and that's higher than I was anticipating. Uh, I really only expect, I really only expect 50, uh, at minimum 45 bushels to the acre for soybeans, and uh, I've been hoping for 60. So that brings my total average to around 60 um, or more, which does cash flow pretty well. According to the scoreboard, as I officially named it, on the Brent cart, I've got about 56,000 pounds on there now. Um, since the semi weighs 24,500, 24, you add that onto there, carry the one, you get about an 80,000 pound load on the semi. Uh, right now, there's ag exemptions out, so I can carry up to 92,000. But with my semi, I found that without going over my axle limits, I cannot carry anywhere close to that. So just to be safe, I like to carry around 82 to 84,000. So if we can fit it into the grain cart, great. But the problem is the combine's auger doesn't reach up, up high enough to be able to fill it real full. There's lots of room over there yet. Not so much on that side though. Yeah. That'll fit. A little bit here, go ahead. Kill it. Front right corner now. Holy snakes, Batman. Yeah, that's one full load. So Travis said, you read the scoreboard on the side. And uh, he said it's at 62,000. So by the time we get this on the semi, it's gonna be one risky load as far as getting all the placement and the weight distributed property, properly on the semi, but it's doable. Um, I'll check back to, uh, tomorrow with you guys once I know what all of my beans yielded. And uh, so far, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it, um, but I'll get back to you guys on that. We're gonna pack things up park things on the level and I gotta drive the semi back home yet tonight does it look good my guess is we've got about a thousand twenty four bushels on here this is where we're gonna park it that tires looking kind of sketchy but uh, I think it'll be all right having this much weight on it that tires not 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 going to squat so it's like midnight and I left Rocket at my place because I intended to go back out there and pick him up. So he's been here all day long. 
I brought the Gator home because my truck's at home. Pulled it in, and then I felt bad for him because he was just sitting there staring at me. And I pulled in, he knows that means, with the Gator anyway, that it's time to run. So I just felt bad, and I'm out here running the dog. Things you do for the ones you love. Well, it's another beautiful day. Now, we actually have a pretty decent fall autumn in Wisconsin this year. We never got really a hard frost early in September, and the trees are just gorgeous this year. The last couple years, it seems like the trees literally just went from green to dead without any color, but we're at one of the higher points in the county right now. The marker is actually on our farm over the hill, and uh, I'm looking out over this valley, and just it's pretty. I'm here to pick up the last of my soybeans. I'm gonna take that down to the river and then we're moving to Travis's next. So once I take this load down, that'll probably be the end of this video. So in total, I had 5,582 bushels of soybeans, and at $10, that's about 55,820 bushels of soy, or dollars. And that equates to about 62 bushels to the acre, which is pretty good, and I'm satisfied with it. Um, now we're gonna be moving on to Travis's, but this is gonna be the end of this video because I gotta put a time limit on it at some point. But anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us along as we continue harvesting. Um, now we're moving on to Travis's. And I imagine next week we'll be heading back to the main farms and doing any of those beans back there. But they're calling for rain in the forecast, so we might switch back to corn at some point in there. Uh, we got a long way to go. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.